right, hello, this is April with TheIntrovertMogul.com and I wanna make a quick video on how to hook up your autoresponder to your system campaigns. I had a couple of questions, so I thought I would make a quick video for everybody just in case anyone else had the same question. So I'm in my back office of MLSP. The first thing I wanna do is hook up my autoresponder. So I'm gonna go over to Account and I'm gonna click on My Autoresponders. Now you'll notice that there's a watch me first. There's one on every page for everything on here so that you can get an understanding of what that particular page is all about. But what I want you to look at is the click here to toggle instructions. When you click that little downward arrow, you're gonna get instructions on how to incorporate your, if you have Aweber or if you have GetResponse. And it's gonna give you information about how to create your list, your campaign list in each one, how to create your profile settings, your, com your uh, confirmation opt-ins, what you need to do, how to create follow-up messages. So these little videos are back here for you um, in order to understand and get your uh, autoresponder all connected. But I'm just gonna do the short version here so uh, let me close that little arrow back. And what you're gonna do is, uh, let me close this, you're gonna add new autoresponder. Now I only have, I work with Aweber, so I'm, this is obviously gonna be a tutorial about Aweber. Um, if you have Git response, like I said, just do that toggle instructions and you'll find out how to incorporate it. But this is universal because once it's incorporated, then I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your um, the system campaign. So once you add a new autoresponder, you're gonna give it a name and you're gonna select the system that you're using. Now I use Aweber. And then what it's gonna ask you for Aweber is gonna ask you for an autoresponder unique ID. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Aweber account and you're gonna go into list options and go to list settings. And right underneath here is your list ID. So you're just gonna take this information right here, right? And of course you have to obviously already have your list created. So if you watch those videos, that's gonna show you how to set up and create, start creating your lists. And then you're just gonna paste that right in here. So I'm not gonna do that with this one. I have three that are set up for uh, my account. I only use, really I only use two of them. So I'm gonna cancel that. And so once you get that set up, you're gonna have your list here like I do. So I have three to choose from. Now, if you don't have an autoresponder, don't worry because MLSP is going to use its um, default autoresponder and its default, um, um, I guess you could call it email because we're gonna use, they're, they're gonna use the CRM. So what you'll do is if you don't have an autoresponder of your own, it's gonna go into your prospect CRM and you'll be able to manage your emails from there and contact and tag and do whatever you need to do from there. The, <clears throat> the only thing is, is that you won't be able to do batch posts. Um, you won't be able to do autoresponder emails from the CRM. So it'll be a good idea to get your own uh, autoresponder account. Okay, so now once you have your list, you're gonna go into your My Websites tab and hit system campaigns. It's gonna be the same for all of them, but um, I'm gonna talk about the system campaigns because those are the free trainings that you wanna start giving away um, so you can start getting leads, right? Once again, each page should have a click here to toggle instructions. This one doesn't have a video, so that's good to know. So you're just gonna watch the watch me first and that'll pretty much explain what this page is all about. But now um, I'm gonna choose a training that I would give away, the Instagram training. I'm gonna go over to this little paper and pencil for editing, and you're gonna see the autoresponder. So my autoresponder is my mastery free pre presentation. I set that up like 20 years ago. <laughs> it seems like forever. And you can also make adjustments to whether or not you wanna add a name, if you wanna add a phone number, uh, or if you want to add a Skype. So what, what that means is if you want the member or the member, <laughs> if you want the prospect to have to enter their name and you put yes and they have to enter their phone number, you put yes. Or if you put a default setting, it's just going to have the name <clears throat> besides the email. Okay. So um, I just keep that as no for some reason on this one, but you can keep it as default um, if you're not sure what to do. Okay. So let me put that back at no. 
Let me put that back. I don't really want them to put their Skype address. I don't really need them to put their phone number right now. On my membership ones, I will request a phone number, but for the free training, no, I don't. And then um, the lead name, that's optional. Um, so most of the time I, I, I put yes and, and have them have the name. So when I submit my, my when I create my autoresponder letters, then I can say, hey, you know, how are you doing first name? I'll be able to say their first name. But, you know, you don't have to in the beginning. It's up to you. Okay, so that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, also, there's another... Now, it's not official on all of the uh, products here, the free trainings, but if you click this little, let me see if it's over here, show swipe files, what it does is MLSP has some um, already created swipe files that you can put on your Facebook status, uh, you can put as an email, <clears throat> let me show you, they give you a few, they give you email swipe, they give you, <clears throat> Twitter swipe, I think. Yeah, Twitter swipe as well. So this is really useful. Unfortunately, it's not for each and every one in here. It's like they got tired of writing them for all of them. But you can always take one and just kind of, you know, write your own. It kind of gives you an idea of what you post. So say if for a Facebook status, um, I use this one. It says, okay, I'll admit it. I kind of I kind of shrugged off Instagram as a lead generation machine until this marketer pulling in 150 plus new leads every single month with her Instagram strategy. What was I thinking? Instagram has over 2 million monthly users and has been proven to have more engagement than Facebook and Twitter combined for branding. Plus, it's so easy, it's almost embarrassing as long as you're doing it right. Watch as this marketer shows you how she's ranking five to 10 leads in a day on Instagram right from the palm of her hand. Really cool stuff. And then you just add your link, right? Click link below. It, it, it gives you the link right then and there for you or you can create a bit.ly for it. I would also recommend doing a bit.ly or you can say if you want a copy or if you want to watch the free video, type in yes, I want to watch it or type in give me the video or whatever, get, you know, have fun with it below. So this is just a really um, awesome little swipe copy that you can use. You can play with it. You can uh, change it up so it sounds more like you. But um, I just wanted to, to let you guys know that that was there. It's not there for everything, unfortunately. But um, you know, you can always kind of tr you can always kind of create your own using that little template if you want to as well. All right, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're watching this on Facebook, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, don't for don't forget to subscribe for more tips and trainings like this. Um, also, don't forget to leave a comment. All right, so that's it. Thank you for joining me and bye-bye for now.